Hello and welcome to the NFL Week 13 Top 10 Most Rigged Plays. Welcome back, disgruntled sports fans. Another week, another top 10. Are you ready? Away we go. So we got the J-E-T-S, suck, 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 versus the Vikings. And of course, they're going to let this receiver get wide open here. It'll look like he's double covered, but he's actually wide open while he's double covered. You see, you have two defenders here, and they can both see the ball coming. Both defenders looking at the ball, see it coming. Right? We can all see that their eyes are locked on the ball. All three of these dudes, both defenders and the wide receiver, all looking at the ball coming. Now watch number three here. Purposely over pursue the route and go run behind the wide receiver. So he's able to make a play if he just stops here and gets in front of it, but instead he runs way back here. Like dude, what are you doing back there? There's no reason for you to have over pursued the route that much and ran all the way back there. You were looking at the ball, standing in front of him. You could have easily made a play on the ball, but now you're way back there. Number 29, he's not even gonna attempt to make a play on the ball. Now watch, he gets hit by his own man. Gotta love it. All right, so here we have the uh, Washington Native Americans and they're taking on the G-Man. Taylor Hockalugi back there at quarterback. All right, and this game ended up in a tie, which they say is like kissing your sister. So basically all these guys ended up kissing their sister. Watch the effort to tackle here. Now, you're supposed to wrap up and tackle. As in like, wrap your arms around the guy's waist, bog him down, and make the tackle. Or at least slow him down enough for your man over here to come help you. But watch the effort put into tackle. Yeah, he just goes for, for a shoulder touch and then slides right off. Now watch this guy right here, he comes he comes shooting in with his shoulder first, and he doesn't try and wrap up either. He just comes straight ahead with a shoulder, and then he gets beat by this spin move, which is so obvious. See there? Doesn't try to wrap up at all. And of course, he takes this one to the house, but it doesn't matter because it was a tie. So this rigged play right here is reminiscent of the Super Bowl where Cam Newton jumped away from the fumble. I don't know if you guys remember that play, but you have something similar here. You'll have Dolphin players not trying to jump on the fumble, not try and recover a fumble, and only the 49er guy goes for it. So Tua Tagi Vailoski, he's gonna stand in the pocket and get hit as he throws, which is gonna be a fumble. Now, here's a dolphin guy, he sees that it's a fumble, and here's another guy who sees that it's a fumble, and here's this lineman over here who knows it's a fumble. So you got three dolphin guys who can get to this ball, but watch, they just stand there and let the 49ers guy come run over and get it. Watch. See, so this guy right here can dive out for it, go for the ball, and look at this player back here, literally arms at his side, just standing there. He saw that it was a fumble. He should at least go try and scoop it up, even if it might be an incomplete pass. You still go try and scoop it up, just stand in there. The only guy trying to scoop it up huh, happens to play for the other team. Watch Fat Man not even go down for it at all. Not even go down for it at all. In fact, he's already getting ready to run alongside this 49er guy picking it up. Like I said, this dude back here finally starts coming to try to help now. So now he scoops it up. Now look at the effort to tackle him. Watch what he does. Touches his shoulder pads. Big lineman touches this guy's shoulder pads. Oh, good job. You really touched his shoulder pads. Good. I'm sure that will make him get tackled. Yeah, good job. And guess where he goes? To the house. Well, I tried to tell you so, but I guess you didn't know. 
They be messing with your goals And there's magnets in the poles Return of the doink Return me Yes you did Yes you did You lied to me All those field goals I thought were so real You lied to me Now I cry Now I cry, cry, cry Return of the doink Return of the doink Return of the doink Another ball hit the pole Return of the doink Return of the doink Return of the doink You know it will be back This play right here, man, is some extra phony rigoroni with a side of baloney. All right, Seahawks quarterback Geno Smith here. Got no problem finding a wide open wide receiver. I mean, look how open this guy happens to be here. Yeah, NFL fanboys are like, it's just the blown coverage. It happens. You know what I say? No, it's rigged. It happens. They just stand there and let wide receivers get wide open. Now let's see if there's any effort to make a tackle here. And we're off to the races. All right, we got number 33 coming in to make a tackle. I don't like his foot positioning. Already you can tell this is gonna be bad. Let me guess, gonna go for the feet? Ooh, a leg touch. Did you guys see that leg touch right there? That was one heck of a leg touch. NFL fanboys hate when I show this in super slow motion. They always tell me to speed it up. Why? The double is in the detail. All right, so here we got the uh, Cleveland dog turds. And over here we got the Houston butt monkeys. And they're going to play a meaningless game that nobody cares about except for losers. <laughs> All right, this is one of the ugliest pick sixes you're ever going to see. And one of the most scripted. Now, he's got a man right here. He should zip it to him right now while he's already got this guy beat. Already got a man open, but watch. He's going to instead pump fake when he's got him open. Pump fake. You had him open, dude. You could even throw over this dude and still get it to him. But no, watch what he decides to do instead. Yeah. Much better decision, right? He basically throws it right at this lineman so it can get batted up so that it can be intercepted easily. And then watch, the quarterback doesn't even try to make a tackle. He just turns away. Like, yep, he's going in. I don't care. All right, y'all, let me set the scene for this play. It's deep into the fourth quarter. It's basically the last play, do or die, here for the Rams if they can't get a first down. Excuse me, the Los Angeles scams. They need a first down, and they need to get out of bounds if they want to keep this game alive. They need a touchdown to win. They're basically down to what could be their last play. Let's see what they dial up. Uh, was there even a ram in the area? Did you forget what team you played for? So on this play, the NFL tried to make Joshua Allen look like he's some sort of awesome quarterback, but I can see through the charade. Let me show you how the rig works. So they have Joshua run to the sidelines and watch the defender who clearly can make this tackle easily, but Watch the effort to make this tackle at the sidelines. Instead of pushing him out of bounds, wrapping up and driving him to the ground, either of those two things, watch what he does. Absolutely no effort. Just touched his shoulder and then slid right off and fell down. NFL fanboys are gonna be like, Josh Allen gave him a juke move. 
Josh Allen is so big and strong and fast and he has crazy moves and he faked that guy out of his boots. No, he didn't. That guy touched his shoulder and fell down. So now Josh Allen's gonna do this sideline throw and he's gonna throw it into coverage and it's still gonna be there. Wow, amazing, Joshua. Fanboys are like, ooh, ah, oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Let's check it out from another angle. So again, watch the effort to tackle here. Nope, no effort. All right, so you got defender right here staring at the ball. He sees the ball. Receivers back there. Watch this defender not play the ball. He still sees it coming. All he's got to do now is jump up there and snag it before it gets to the wide receiver. But watch, instead, he's just going to watch it. Watch it get caught by the receiver. Y'all know what this is right here? This right here, man, is the number one most rigged play of the week. And it's number one for a reason. Here we go. We're gonna have this pump return miraculously. Miraculously, he's going to break this first tackle. You're gonna see the defender dive and fall on his face, like usual. Par the course. Second defender. Nice arm tackle attempt. That's going to put you on the ground as well. So he's broken two tackles already. Now look, here's these two guys behind here. This whole play is just comical as hell. Watch what transpires here with all of these dudes around him. Dude back here fell down. <laughs> now there's three dudes in a pile over here. This guy's going for a dive. Is he going to land on his face? I'm going to guess yes. Mm-hmm. We got another guy going for a dive at the feet. I'm guessing he's going to land on his face. That's four dudes who just dove and land on their face. Oh, look, he actually tripped him slightly. All right. We got homeboy right here coming up fast. My guess, probably going to dive, go for the feet with land on his face. Right about... Now, awesome, five dudes, five missed tackles, and all of them look like that. What are the odds? And that disgruntled sports fans is your top 10 most rigged for week 13. Smash that like button. Make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you next time.